here we are. We're about to get after it again after a few days of rain. So let me get this tarp stripped off here and we'll get started. This is the gasket kit that I got in to replace the worn out stuff that was on the bottom of the air conditioning unit. We're going to flip this thing over or at least get it up on its side uh, briefly just to put the new gasket on there. And actually I may do that once I get it up top. Anyways, either way you look at it, um, I hope this works. It doesn't seem like it's quite as firm, but I think it should work in terms of compression gasket. Um, and then we have some of the, I guess, leveling pads. They help support the uh, areas of the air conditioner that aren't resting on the gasket. So like normal this time of year, we've got some more rain coming in for like the next week. I want to get this up there, get everything buttoned up nicely before that sets in. Take one on this thing and you can see where this gasket, I may have got about half of it off clean. And then we started getting these sections where it was just stuck on there really, really well. And I had a hard time getting getting it to uh, come off clean. So I'm brainstorming right now, trying to figure out what to use. Let's go ahead and pull off there. There's my helper. Um, I'm gonna try to figure out what to use to get the rest of this nasty stuff off here and get it cleaned up so we can get good adhesion for the new gasket. Here we are, it's much cleaner. I also kind of boogered it up a little bit, trying to get that dang gasket off of there. It was a pain. As a matter of fact, I'm probably standing on it. I ended up using a little bit of, I used some brake cleaner uh, to kind of loosen that adhesive up a little bit. And, it worked all right. It still took a lot of elbow grease. But now I need to get the rest of this cleaned up because it's still got some of that sticky residue on there. And of course, um, if I put any imperfections on there other than just superficial stuff, I need to smooth those out and make sure that's not going to be an issue. I finally had to resort to using a old washcloth and gasoline to really get a lot of that adhesive off there. The good news is despite what it looks like, it's actually clean. And I think we're gonna be able to get good adhesion for the new gasket, which is what I really care about. So that's where we're sitting right now. We still have to figure out um, the best way for one person to get this up on top of the camper, which is not an easy feat. And once we get it up there, I'm gonna put the new gaskets on and we'll see if we can get this thing secured down. Well, I, was, I managed to rustle this thing up here and I have the gasket stuck on and then the little support gasket back here on the back just to support the weight on the back side. I'm going to go ahead and position this and then move inside for uh, the final centering on it. This is somewhat in position now. I'm going to head inside, take a look up through the AC opening and see how close my bolts are to lining up and then we'll go ahead and Start seeing if we can get it tightened down. You can see here, we're a little bit off. Um, this side, we need to go back this way a little bit. Front to rear, rear, we're not too far. And then you can see how this is recessed a little. So I'm just going to straighten that up, make sure everything's fitting properly. And then we'll start taking a look at the wires and get everything bolted in. I think we're pretty well centered in here now. Let's get this cord out of the way. Remember we have to plug that back in. So that all looks good. All right, we're nice and centered. On to the next step. For this unit, we have two different little wiring harnesses to plug in. This little bundle here, We'll simply plug into um, this clip here. And then we have this smaller two wire plug that hooks up inside this little panel. So I'm gonna pull this off 
Uh, we'll get inside there, get both of these plugged up. That's all the wiring I have to mess with. Then we will fit this back into the opening and see if our bolts line up, which they should uh, without much trouble. And we'll get this thing tightened down. We're not gonna over tighten it, but that gasket should uh, do its job and provide us some um, uh, waterproofness up there. As you can see here, I've got this bundle plugged back in and I have this bundle here, the, the black wires with the blue clip that is plugged back in. That's all the wiring I have. I'm gonna go ahead and put this plate back on right here. And then we're gonna see if we can get this thing stabbed in there and bolted in. I believe we are good to go. This um, contact paper that was on here before was wrinkled up, I guess, from the installation originally. I'm not sure, so we'll figure out what to do with that later. But as of now, I don't know if you can see that very well. I didn't tighten it down real, real tight. I'm going to let the gasket do the job. We've got a, a little bit of uh, compression. I say we've got some good compression there all the way around. The unit feels secure. We're gonna go up top and take a look and see what's going on there. But outside of that, I think we're about ready to put the uh, face cover back on it and get it cleaned up just a little bit and out of the way. There you have it, as you can probably hear. It is blowing strong. Everything seems to be working fine, so. We're gonna go ahead and get this covered up inside and then head up top and get the shroud put on. All right, this still needs some cleaning up, but it's running and we've got the face plate back on there. There's a clip that's been broke for a while that goes right here. Um, and you can see some of the dirt and stuff still on there, but I'm gonna pull that off later and uh, get it washed up nicely. I just wanted to get it back on there today. Let's see if I can. There we go, quieten it down a little bit. Anyways, this is good. Let's head up top and get the shroud back on the unit and um, see if we can get this thing covered up before the rain hits. Just for an overall update, this is where we sit right now. The vent covers are on, uh, butyl tape's down on all this stuff, but I haven't used any of the lap sealant yet. But these are in place. The vent over the bathroom is in place. I have not cut the hole yet for the skylight. Um, that's gonna be my next step, but I'm still waiting to do that. refrigerator vent is taken care of we got the AC installed the cover back on it 
it looks a little grody, but that's as clean as I could get it. So that's where we're at. We have the uh, radio antenna that I still need to mount and take care of. I ordered a new one, the old one, the, the base plate was trashed. So I'm waiting on some parts to get in. I have not got the termination bars uh, sealed yet with lap sealant, but front and rear. I don't know if you can see that or not, but anyways, I still have to work my way around doing all of that. But all in all, it's moving along. It is coming together, then I'm gonna have to transition inside. So one thing at a time, I'm just happy to be getting it done.